Senator, following up on California's high-speed rail station project, back in March, Governor Newsom presented his budget for the project. Seven months later, Bakersfield City Council held a meeting to discuss the progress that has been made so far. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Peronian was there and joins us in studio to explain how things are looking. Mary. Hey, well, the progress is still happening, and the city said it will take years until it's up and running, but until then, they still have a lot to discuss. The city touched base on their approval from five years ago to bring a world-class station to Bakersfield. The vision plan for the development of the high-speed rail station. The station will be located near the intersection of Golden State Avenue 204 and F Street. The high-speed rail authority is receiving $192 million to advance the detailed design. This will be the nation's first 220 miles per hour electrified high-speed rail traveling from the Bay Area through Los Angeles. Back in 2022, the authority's board of directors approved to move forward with the progress for the Central Valley stations. Merced, Madera, Fresno, Kings and Bakersfield. It comes down the valley, the first segment's Merced to Bakersfield, and then it will go on over the Tatchby's to Palmdale and then Los Angeles. And from Merced it goes up the peninsula to uh, San Jose and San Francisco. The High Speed Rail Authority said the construction of the Bakersfield section of the rail will come in four separate projects. The design for all those projects have been approved, but the overall contract for all four is awaiting approval. The rail design is also centered around traffic data, said Public Works Director Greg Strakalus. He said there are options to accommodate traffic for when the development escalates, not just when the station gets here, but in the mid-2040s. One of those options is the grade solution, the at grade of a six lane facility right. uh, without that overpass at Garza Circle. One of the options that looked at was a four lane boulevard concept as to whether the traffic could um, work on a four lane, but um, without some significant changes downstream, a four lane boulevard concept at grade would not function unless some other decisions were made about the facility downstream. The authority said the next steps will be to hold a public meeting to review the concept and detailed design so that construction can begin in 2027. Live in studio, Mary Pronian, Eyewitness News.